What's up guys? This is my baby girl. It's two months old. Say hello to YouTube. Alright. Okay. Okay, fine. What you looking at? Huh? What you looking at? Okay. It's been almost three months since I uploaded my last video back in probably October last year. I've been very busy because I have spent almost all of my time taking care of my newborn daughter. I barely have time to reply or messages. So if you have sent me any messages and haven't replied yet, I'm sorry about that. In this video, I'm going to talk about all the tools that I've been using in my work. First thing first, underneath all these tools, you see this green cutting mat. When I buy this, they call it self-healing cutting mat. Trust me, it just doesn't do that. It doesn't heal itself. If you find a cutting mat that heals itself, that's a freaking miracle. These are the cutters. I got these from some regular stationery stores. I got this larger one for cutting larger pieces. And I got this smaller one for cutting smaller pieces, of course. And this one is for more refined works. So when you cut the letters, you need rulers. These rulers are made with metal. Don't ever cut your leather with these kind of plastic ruler. Because the blade will cut your ruler along with your leather. So next time when you use the same ruler, you won't have a straight line. I have three sizes. I have a short one, and I have uh, a little bit longer, 12 inches long, and I have these 18 inches. So in most of my videos, after cutting the leathers, you see me gluing pieces together. A lot of people have been asking what kind of glues I use. This is what I use. I don't know what's it called. Is well, it actually called 881 adhesive. What kind of name is that? So for gluing, I have these pallet knife here. This is a larger one, and this is a smaller one. So after gluing, it goes to stitching. But before stitching, you have to make some stitching holes. In almost all of my videos, you see this wing divider. You can adjust the distance between the edge from the stitching line. So this is a um, very good tool. This is another wing divider. I've seen people heat it, the front bit, and then actually mark a line from the edge. And this is a adjustable groover. You can adjust the distance. The groover is to make a groove for your stitching line, but I have never used this because the leather I use is relatively thin, so I can't actually make a groove for stitching. But if you use a relatively thicker leather, I think the groover might help because your stitching line won't be sticking out. It actually stays in the groove. So after the stitching line, you need this stitching iron. I have four of these. I have these one prong and two and four and six prongs. It makes a two and a half mil stitching hole and it gives about seven stitches per inch. In some of my videos you see me using these stitching all because there are times that you, you find some awkward angles but where you can't actually use this stitching iron with a mallet so when that moment comes and these stitching iron comes in very handy and the needles these are just some regular needles nothing special about it and for the threads I have these waxed polyester 210D that's what they call the thickness about 
two mil and I also got myself two pairs of these scissors these kind of scissors are very easy to use and very cheap though it's about one dollar US things are very cheap in Hong Kong better than one of these for these stitching irons, you need the mallet. I have these 12 and a half ounces mallet, and I also have one of these, a wooden mallet, and I also have these, a big chunk of rubber or plastic. So for stitching, you need these stitching pony, where I glue two pieces of leather on top of the clamp, so making sure that I don't have any scratches or marks on my work. A good stitching pony with a decent locking mechanism will make your life a lot more easier. So after stitching, it comes to baffling. I have these two baffler here. This one is, is good enough for general purposes. It's good for straight line and uh, round corners. And for this one, you see a longer front bit here. It's actually very good for baffling a straight line, but it can't turn so after baveling, it comes to burnishing. These pieces of wood burnisher, you see a few grooves here. This is the widest, and this is the most narrow. Other than these, I also have these. I also have this piece of wood here. These are all burnishing tools. And I made these out of piece of wood. I actually cut a portion out of these, this piece of wooden stick and then I drill a hole on the center and put the, this drill bit here attaching this piece of wood then attach it to my hand drill it makes burnishing a lot more easier These are all the tools that I, I use for my leather work. My daughter is crying for something. I have to go take care of her. In case you have any, any questions, well, do try to message me and um, I'll see if I can get back to you when I have time. Thank you for watching.